crazy kid, Zach Evanesh here, going over the infamous bridge. Oh, man. All right, this is uh, kind of a little bit of a dirty area. This is the crossing over of when I come from down where uh, I live, down near the beach. Coming up towards Staten Island, 287, and Edison. Now, normally when I'm heading this way, I am going uh, to the underground, but not today. Today, I'm going up to train the Blair Academy wrestling team. So, uh, always, always inspiring to be around those guys. I have the tiger all the way. They put their heads down. They shut up. They don't talk and make excuses. And, man, they go to town when I put them through these workouts. And these workouts aren't your typical 45 minutes, one hour. It's usually a two-hour training session, very aggressive, high volume, high intensity all the way, um, giving them not just a workout, but also educating these guys on how they need to train when I'm not around them. So always inspiring. And uh, ironically, I'm here listening to uh, an audiobook uh, called Do You by Russell Simmons. And he's talking about how hard work is attractive in many ways. Hard work is attractive, so if you're a guy and you're busting your ass, that is attractive to women. If you are an athlete or an entrepreneur and you're busting your butt, working, grinding, hustling, as they say, what that attraction comes down to is not so much, you know, the opposite sex, but when you work hard, good things happen. That's just the bottom line. And uh, I don't want to turn this into a uh, show where I am preaching because I hate when that happens when I go and speak to other athletes and I see other coaches, they have to preach to the athletes. Work hard, do your homework, do your best, do the extra. Hey man, you gotta know that that's just the way of the world. If you want to achieve success, you need to be somebody that is ready to work. So always remember that hard work is attractive in more ways than one. It will help you achieve success in many aspects of life. And that's just the bottom line. So uh, as I start driving closer to Blair, I'll give you guys a little bit of an inside look on uh, what goes on. And today we're going to do a mix of training. We're gonna do some weight, weight room training, which we haven't done a lot of with those guys. We tend to do all our training in the wrestling room using the sandbags, using the kettlebells, using all the body weight training, the rope climbing, the physical culture and gymnastic type drills. So this is gonna be an interesting day. We're gonna intersperse it with live wrestling, which is something that the Russians have been doing for decades. Teaches the uh, wrestler to become extremely tough and technical and proficient when they're, uh, you know, basically when they're experiencing high muscular fatigue, they have to still be able to uh, how do you say, uh, have a motor that never quits. There's a big difference in trying to wrestle after you hit a lift versus wrestling and then hitting a lift because you're showing up to wrestle when you're not fresh. So it has a great carryover to wrestling tournaments, uh, mental toughness, um, or wrestling uh, dual meets and tri meets, having multiple matches in one day. So when we get in there, I'll give you guys uh, a little bit of an inside look at what goes on. All right, hang tight, kids. All right, guys, we are here in Blairstown. Right turn ahead. Yep. And then turn <laughs> left. And there's basically a whole lot of nothing to do here. <laughs> so great to uh, keep guys from being distracted. And uh, just real simple place. You have arrived at there your destination. Are. Uh, that's not it. Here we go. Real basic, real simple place. I love coming up here. It kind of clears my own head and always reminds me, you know, what I'm about. It's just uh, the training. So uh, let's check it out. Give you the quick tour going through here. Actually got some of the equipment in the underground from here. Coach Buxton took me to a couple of the uh, storage barns around here. <laughs> and they just had all this equipment that was, uh, I guess, like tossed. So I've got some uh, 
Blair equipment. I've even got Blair climbing rope in my garage. Many of you have seen that. Nice campus, I'll tell you that. There's the pond or the lake or whatever you want to call it. And about to pull up. So you got the soccer fields here, and then the uh, football field is going to be straight ahead. Football field and track right here. Pretty legit. So that's it. Time to get things rolling here and. Uh, We'll show you guys how we how we train. <laughs> 